time We got so many leaving, yeah, chasing their dreams Say there's nothing here or so it seems And they will miss it, someday they'll know They'll want to return to the town they love so And welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include Lyons Annual Santa Claus Parade, Mentoring Program at Burjo Academy, the Grade 2-3 Class Safety Tips. These stories, plus the BBS Playbill, Off the Rack, and more after these safety tips from the 2-3 Class. The Grade 2-3 Class wish you a safe and wonderful Christmas. Christmas Safety Tips. When loading up for Christmas, use only CSA-approved lights. Use the proper lights for the environment. Indoor lights should not be used outdoors because they lack the weatherproof connection. Outdoor lights burn too hot and should not be used indoors. Replace immediately any bulbs that do not light because the other bulbs that are operating might overheat. If you must use ex extension cords and wall outlets, use only the number of connections for which the outlet is designed. Failure to do this can cause overheating. It plugs into outlets. Poor contact can cause overheating or produce a shock. On Sunday, December the 11th, the Lions Annual Santa Claus Parade was held. Once again, the Lions Annual Santa Claus Parade was a tremendous success. The parade left the plant parking lot at approximately 2 p.m. and proceeded around town on its regular route. Along the route, many residents took the opportunity to view the parade from different vantage points. This year, the absence of our sea cadets was very noticeable. As the old saying goes, you don't know how important something is until it's gone. Hopefully, next year our sea cadets will take their rightful place in the Santa Claus Parade again. However, despite their absence, the parade was still very enjoyable. This year, a number of ATVs entered the parade again. The number has increased from last year. The float displayed the different groups and organizations' creative skills and showed the hard work that was put into making them. This parade certainly brought a little Christmas cheer to the residents of our community. Once the parade passed the BBS cameras, they headed for the community center. Here, the Lions gave out goodie bags to the children, and Santa and Mrs. Claus were there to have pictures taken and take letters from the children. The Lions also announced the winners of the parade. Thank everyone who uh, participated in the Santa Claus parade. And uh, we will now give it the best hand TV, is uh, Victoria Pearson. Yeah. 
Congratulations to all the winners and those who entered float in the Santa Claus Parade. Your efforts paid off and your goals were achieved. Thanks for a job well done. Some Christmas traditions are alive and well in Burgio, and lighting of the BBS Christmas tree is one of them. With the exception of one year, the BBS tree has lit up the night sky of our little town for many years. Residents began to meet outside the BBS office at approximately 5.30 p.m. for the lighting of the town's largest tree. Santa was here handing out treats to the children as they waited for the tree to light. The evening was a little windy, but the Christmas spirit was high. By the time the tree was lit, there was quite a crowd at gather to watch. At 6 p.m., the tree and satellite dishes were successfully lit. Traditionally, the sea cadets would begin to play old Christmas tree once the BBS tree was lit. However, even though the sea cadets have had a few meetings, they felt that after being closed for, for such a long period of time, they weren't prepared enough for this event. We are happy that the Sea Cadets are finally back on stream and hopefully next year they will once again join us for the lighting of the BBS Christmas tree. Despite their absence, there were still many oohs and ahs as the beautifully multicolored tree was lit up the dark night sky. On Monday of this week, we visited the mentoring program at Burgio Academy. This program has been ongoing at the school for a few years now. This year, 30 students are involved. Through the mentoring program, older students are teamed up with younger students. These students get to do activities together throughout the school year. For the past three weeks, students have been staying in school for lunch and taking part in some group activities. They were divided into three groups of 10. There were three activities for them to complete. Origami, the heart of paper folding with Kay Kasser, plastic butterflies with Krista Standing, and cyber camp with Scott Porter. The first group we visited were learning how to make origami hats. The group learned how to fold and crease the paper to make this hat. Then the students got to decorate it how they wanted to. Next, we want to see how the butterflies were made. Miss Standing already had the butterflies cut out an outline with a black marker. The students then use their creative skills to paint these lovely butterflies. The third and final group was Cyber Camp with Scott Porter. Here, the students were learning how to surf the web. Scott gave the students instructions on how to travel through a particular website to create an award for their dog. Scott also had questions about dogs for the group. They had to use their computer skills to find the answers. Each of the three groups got the opportunity to do all of these activities. We extend a big thank you to CIS coordinator Krista Standing for inviting us to the mentoring session. Stay tuned for more of This Week in Review coming up after these Christmas safety tips. To avoid possible overheating, do not coil or bunch extension cords which is in use and do not run it under carpet or rug. Don't add decorations that very small children might swallow that look like food or candy. Use only decorations that are flame resistant or not combustible. If you use a freshly cut Christmas tree, make sure that the tree has a high moisture content. Before setting it up, saw two inches diagonal off the butt. Keep it stored in a water-based container. The Burgio Volunteer Fire Department would like to pass along some safety tips on how burning candles can be dangerous. 
With the holiday season about to begin, kennels are becoming a big part of home decor. With kennels comes the need to use caution. Every year in Canada, fires start due to kennels being left burning without anyone watching them. This can be caused when all flames from a burning kennel touch nearby curtains, party decorations, or clothing. Fires can also start when the candle wax gets so hot that it catches fire. Everyone is reminded to keep burning candles out of the reach of children along with these other safety tips. Cut the candle wick short to prevent a high flame. Candles with more than one wick close to one another are not safe, safe and should not be used. Place candles where they can't be knocked down. Don't place burning candles close to curtains, lampshades, or party decorations. Use sturdy candle odors that won't tip over. Place candles firmly in the candle odor. Don't use wood or plastic candle odors. They can catch fire. Middle candle odors are safer. Be careful with glass candle odors. They can break if the flame gets too hot. If your clothes catches fire, remember to stop, drop, and roll. Remembering these safety tips can help to reduce the risk of fire occurring. Please use caution when burning candles this Christmas season and have a safe and fire-free holiday. Miss Marlene Vatcher's 2-3 class visited our studio on Friday of this week to do some Christmas safety tips on behalf of the Virgil Volunteer Fire Department. On Friday of this week, Burgio Academy's 2-3 class were very excited to be at the BBS studio to do some safety tips for us. All of the students were eager to help out. They did a fantastic job and everyone enjoyed being in front of the camera. Each of the students got a chance to do one of the safety tips. The first year the tips were used, they were posted on Community Channel 10 for everyone to read. However, after a suggestion passed along to us last year, Having our children doing the tips is more fun and interesting. Because of the busy schedule at school, the tips are being done later this year. With Christmas season about to begin, this is probably the best time to be doing the tips because they will be fresh in everyone's mind. Before the 2-3 class lift, they wanted to pass along their Christmas greetings to you all.
stay with us for Off the Rack and the BBS Playbill, all after these safety tips from the 2-3 class. The cooler the room, the longer the tree will stay fresh. Don't block door or window, which might be used to escape. When using candles, make sure that they are in the proper holder so they can't fall over and never leave them unattended. Home smoke detector and an all-purpose dry chemical fire extinguisher make an excellent Christmas gift. Have a safe and fire-free holiday. Off the rack. This week as we scanned our tape rack, we came across a tape of children having their pictures taken with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Let's look back to December 1991. PBS Playbill. Tune in on Tuesday for a rebroadcast of the Santa Claus Parade and Christmas tree lighting. Try your luck on Wednesday by playing LOL TV Bingo. And I'll be here again next week with This Week in Review. Next week we will bring you the first part of This Year in Review. For This Week in Review, I'm Marie Rose. Good night and God bless.